Hey guys, what's up? Aheckman2 here with another MX Simulator tutorial video. Today I'm going to be showing you guys how to take a screenshot in MX Simulator and put it into Photoshop and make it look awesome. So, first thing you want to do is go ahead and either right click on your thing up here and click properties, or go ahead and right click on your thing down here and click properties. So, what you want to do is go into the target line and type in hidden HUD dash dash hidden dash HUD and then space dash dash hidden dash pause and then click apply and click OK so let's go ahead and open up the game now alright so once you're in the game you want to go ahead and go to your graphics settings advanced graphics and max all these out to the max that you can go on your computer without crashing it so uh, once you have those maxed out you want to go ahead and also set your field of view to about 30 to 50 ish is uh, usually pretty good for screenshots. So I'm gonna go ahead and go play back a demo here. Alright guys, so once you found the spot in the game that you, uh, or the place in the demo that you want to take your screenshot from, you want to go ahead and go into the free cam and go find it. And you can easily find your rider by just pressing the sit dab button. And if I sound a little tired, it's because I'm recording this at 2 in the morning and recorded, and I just decided to record this as a spur of the moment. So. We're going to go ahead and take a screenshot of my bike coming down the hill here. Uh, I'm actually making this screenshot for a release. I'm going to be releasing this design to the public. So just going to make sure that I get the whole rider in here. I think I'll go ahead and put him like this. And in order to take a screenshot, you just want to press S. And then you want to go ahead and skip back a few or skip ahead a few and then press S again and it should say save screenshot twice and then you can go ahead and quit out of the game alright guys so the next thing you want to do is go ahead and go into your personal folder and open up Photoshop with just a blank thing in the background you want to go ahead and drag your most recent screenshot which is the background onto it first and then go ahead and drag this one up on top which is just your writer added so you want to go ahead and go over to your layers rasterize the top layer convert the bottom one to a smart object and then rasterize that one as well so you have two rasterized layers you want to go ahead and change the layer type to difference on the top one and let's go ahead and make sure your uh, foreground color is black and your background color is white go ahead and go to select color range click OK then select refine edge uh, it's, uh, usually I just play around with these usually I go three 0.55 five, and negative 5 and then go ahead and click delete or backspace either one works go ahead and switch it back to a normal layer and I'm gonna go ahead and erase because I have some frap stuff up here and so I want to go ahead and erase you alright so uh, you guys won't have the fraps uh, frame rate up there I forgot to turn that off so I'm just gonna go ahead and resize these things up so that's out of the way but uh, what you uh, now you have your rider separated from your image and you have a back a still background so one thing the one thing that uh, really makes the screenshots look realistic is if you can add a shadow so go ahead and do control J to duplicate the layer and then you can go ahead and slide it underneath and you can go ahead and hold control to skew it over around however you want um, for this one I think I'm gonna go ahead and just transform it and flip a vertical and gonna go ahead and rotate it around and uh, since both my tires are off the ground at the time I'm gonna make sure the M the uh, shadow is a little bit away from the tires here so I'm gonna go ahead and scrunch it up just a little bit and that looks pretty good to me go ahead and double click on it click color overlay make it black and then go ahead and do filter, blur, Gaussian blur, and just blur a couple right there. And then go ahead and lower the opacity to a suitable level. So uh, yeah, that's how you create, add a shadow into your picture. So the next thing that you can do is go ahead and add some various effects to the rider and to the background. So one thing I like to do is add brightness and contrast to the rider. Go ahead and brighten it up and add some contrast. And similarly, use the exposure to bring up the exposure and also lower down the offset a little bit to create more um, contrast. And another thing I do is vibrance just to make everything pop out a little bit more. So those are the things that I do to the rider. And uh, so first thing you want to do to this background is go ahead and add a blur to it. So there's a few ways of doing this. The way that I do is go ahead and just pick a line 
Um, I'm not going to do this very well because I'm just doing it kind of quickly here and most people don't notice it quite honestly. So you just want to go ahead and draw a line at the top of the banners here. And then you just want to include basically all of the background here that you want to be blurred. And go ahead and click make selection, enter, filter, blur, Gaussian blur, and just blur it a little bit. A little less, there we go. And control D to deselect. And you can actually take your blur tool and go ahead and maybe blur the top of this a little bit. Just to make it blend in and cheat just a little bit. Maybe blur this background a little bit. And then there you go. That looks pretty good to me. And then I'll go ahead and just add in a brightness and contrast to the background here. Maybe just a little brighter. And uh, yeah, that looks pretty good to me. Sometimes I like to vibrant it up a little bit. Just the background, play with different things, see how it looks. Oh no, 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 no. Maybe just a little bit of vibrance will look good. And it's all with playing around with it just to uh, make it fit how you want your screenshot to look. So I'm going to go ahead and merge all my layers together and go ahead and go to image adjustments levels and uh, you kind of want to cut out the areas like this right through here isn't used very much but since I have a lot of lower levels over here I'm just going to keep it how it is you can play with the gamma as well to mess with different things usually I make this maybe 0.98 just to uh, add a little bit difference to it so uh, one thing that I also do is add in a source for the light because your light has to be coming from somewhere for the uh, shadow so I'll just go ahead and this corner will be the light and just to contrast it I go ahead and add in a dark corner as well so I just usually draw it by hand here and then go to filter blur Gaussian blur again and uh, this is where you go to big numbers here just to blur it a lot and uh, do the same to the light here and then just go ahead and lower the opacity to a uh, suitable level so I'll go ahead and make it look like that and then if it goes over top of the rider I'm gonna go ahead and lower the hardness of my eraser down a little bit if it goes over top of the rider I just go ahead and erase the brightness just a little bit just so it doesn't go over top of the rider so I want the rider to remain his shade so once you've got that done, you've basically got a finished screenshot. There's only one last thing that I like to add in, and that's my logo. So I just take my logo and paste it in, and take the scale down to 15% of what it is right now, 15%. Click OK, and drag it into the corner, and I'm going to, whoops, have my auto select on. Um, I'm going to go ahead and drag it up and put it on top of that and put the opacity to 75%. And there's a finished screenshot. So I hope you guys enjoyed the video. Please leave a like if it helped you make screenshots and uh, make sure to spread the word to help those who are curious on how to make screenshots instead of Photoshop. So I uh, will talk to you guys in the next video.